Hello, my name is Jonathan Obisi and this is the Life and Truth Podcast. I want to say a special welcome to you. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the eight books that changed my life as a teenager. But first off, if this is the first time you're coming on the podcast, I encourage you to go to all of my social media accounts, Jonathan Obise, and also visit my website, jonathanobise.com, and you'll be able to listen to all the previous episodes, and I so believe it's going to be a blessing to your heart. So, without further delay, the eight books that changed my life. The first book I want to talk about is The Purpose Driven Life. Now, this is a book that was written by Rick Warren. Now, The Purpose Driven Life literally teaches spiritual growth, you know, using Christian principles and all of that. It's a book that can literally change your outlook on life. Now, as a young person, as a teenager, when I read this book, it literally changed my life. It gave me a different outlook on life. Um, it gave me, it, it, it sort of opened the doorway for me to begin to understand what purpose meant right what it meant to live a purpose-driven life what it meant to have you know purpose-driven friends what it meant to live the purpose-driven life like literally live a purpose-driven life that for everything you do there should be a purpose for everything you do there should be a bigger plan there should be a longer term plan i'm doing this i'm learning this in the next 20 years in the next 30 years next 50 years how what is the relevance what will be the relevance what will be the impact of this thing that i'm doing in my life so the purpose driven life is the book number one book the second book i want to talk about is rich dad poor dad now this book was written by robert kiyosaki and he talked about you know his dad who was the poor dad and then his friend's dad who was the rich dad so his dad was working class was diligent and all of that but he was poor he was constantly in the rat race you know he really um he was just there the rich dad on the other hand was not necessarily working class but was building businesses an entrepreneur and of course was rich and you know richer than his dad and all of that and a lot of principles that i believe is going to change your life as a teenager reading that book changed my perspective to life opened my mind to you know a lot of things that you know a lot of possibilities you know in terms of financial freedom and in terms of finances and so much more so i encourage you to look for that book if you've read it before you can read it again if you've never read it before look for that book and read it the third book i want to talk about is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, Napoleon, this, this book is a classic. It was written in 1937, but it's a classic, I can tell you. Literally, if you can think, you can grow rich. If you can think right, you can grow rich, right? And this book goes beyond not just, you know, financial freedom or talking about, you know, finances. It's a book that goes beyond that and talks about, you know, building an enviable life in itself right so this is a book i would recommend think and grow rich it says has a man think it so is he so that means if you can think you can manifest so whatever you can think you can manifest if you can think it you can meditate on it you can ruminate over it eventually you begin to manifest that so think and grow rich is a book that i would recommend the next one i want to talk about is the 21 success secrets of self-made millionaires now this book was written by brian tracy and this book actually contains a lot of secrets, a lot of principles gleaned from the life of successful millionaires, those who have eventually, who have actually built enviable lives, you know, fin have financial freedom, they, they have, they've been able to, you know, um, to, to go out to leave the rat race and, you know, enjoy financial freedom. So a lot of secrets from them, 21 secrets that I believe will also be a blessing you know to your life if you'll be able to um you know um actually practice them and put them um into practice in your life now that book is by brian tracy the next book i'm talking about is the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership now this book is actually written by john c maxwell the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership one of the 21 irrefutable laws that stood out for me was the the law of the lead is it the law of the lead or the principle of the lead now it talks about that your potential where your potential to accomplish anything in life is limited by your leadership ability, right? There is so much you can accomplish as an individual. And this will literally change your life. You can be an expert. Think about this now. For example, you have professors or you have people who are geniuses and they're experts, but they're alone. Now, because they're alone, whatever it is they're able to accomplish, eventually if they die or something happens, it dies with them. But you have some other people who instead of just being experts, you know, and then allowing the expertise to die with them, they build systems, they build companies, they build enterprises, they build things that outlive them. Now, that is it. The law of the lead. Yes, the law of the lead. That's what it's called. Your 
potential in life will be limited by leadership ability. There's so much in that book. It's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. Please get that book, read that book. It will change your life. It changed mine as a teenager and changed my thinking and changed everything about me literally as a teenager and it continues to influence my life even now. The next book I want to talk about is The Man God Uses. No, no, no. Before that, Seven Habits of Highly Successful or Successful People of Highly Successful People by Stephen Covey. That's another classic. The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. You will see habits, you will see principles of highly successful people that I highly recommend that you actually read, meditate on them, internalize, and it will literally change your life. It will change your outlook on life. It will teach you, it will help you to begin to look at your life in different in a different way. You know, sort of building your all areas of your life and showing that you're growing in every area of your life. And then the next book is The Man God Uses. Now, this is a book written by Oswald J. Smith. Now, this book actually it's a life transforming book. It's especially for the Christian and for the believer who wants to live a life of meaning and a life of purpose, who wants to live a life that glorifies God and at the end of it all, after all the labor and after all the expense of your time, your talent, your treasure, you're able to receive a well done from your father. If this is your heart desire, then this book, the man God uses, the woman God uses, of course, man literally means man or woman. So the man God uses will be a book that would change and transform your life. And then lastly, of course, my book, The 26 Power Power Dad in the School of Destiny. The book is actually in press right now. I'm, I'm sort of writing a revised edition you know, and it will be available shortly. Um, and that book, of course, the writing of the book itself transformed my life. And it's something I, I continue to use the 26 Power Paradise, all the 26 principles that, you know, from A to Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, and all of that continues to change my life. These are the books that have changed my life and impacted my life. They continue to do that even today. And I encourage you to look for them. And you know what? This 21, the 26 Power Paradise is School of Destiny. I was about to clock I was, I think, 20 at a time, and I fasted and prayed that I was going to be a millionaire by the time I'm age 20. Well, that's a story for another day. Um, I wouldn't talk about that today. Maybe next episode I'll share about that, you know, how I fasted and prayed because I want to become a millionaire by the age of 20. Well, did it happen? We'll see to that on the next episode. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for, you know, just tuning in. And I want to believe this is going to be a blessing to your heart. If you've, watched, if you've read these books before, please, you can revisit them. You can read them again. And if you haven't, please make sure you do, you get this book. And I so believe it's going to change your life and change your destiny from now to forever. Thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to sharing more with you in the next episode. Please like, subscribe, share, and do all you need to do. God bless you and see you next time. Bye-bye.